everyone, Cindy Santa Anna here, Integrative Nutritionist for the Amen Clinics and your Wellness Wednesday host. Today I'm going to make a simple side dish of sautéed kale. This is very quick, it just takes three to four minutes to make and it's a great side dish for every dinner. So I'm going to show you how I make mine. So um, kale, this is curly leaf kale and to get the leaves off, the stem, you just simply hold the stem in one hand and pull until you have all the leaves off. And I kind of just fold them up and give them a rough chop, tucking those fingers back. And we've got a bunch of some bite-sized pieces of kale. So in a hot skillet, you wanna put some olive oil or you can use avocado oil or even coconut oil, just a little bit. You don't need much for this. So you wanna put that in a hot pan and then let your oil get warm. And then you just simply add your kale to that. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit more flavor, you could add some um, diced or minced garlic in here as well. You could even add some minced uh, onion. But just for simplicity's sake and really quick side dish, I'm just gonna put the kale right in here. And get it all off. All right, and now we just simply stir to coat all of that oil and the leaves together. Keep in the pan. It will cook down a little bit. So I'm just stirring this to coat. And then you can season with a little salt and pepper. I like to use fresh black pepper. And then a little salt. I'm just using some Himalayan sea salt. Now, if you have chicken stock, you can use that. If you don't, you can just simply use a little bit of um, fresh filtered water. And what we're doing is sort of braising the kale. Then you just put the lid on, turn up your heat a little bit, and you let that cook. So if you don't wanna use kale, you can use Swiss chard. You can use the leafy greens that come on the top of beets or beet greens. You can use collard greens. They just take a little bit longer to cook. But this is a great side dish to add to um, any nightly meal. And I like to use what's called the curly leaf kale. Um, the the lacinato or the dinosaur leaf kale is much better used in a salad. So you just simply stir this around and um, Another thing I like to add to mine is a little pinch of red pepper flakes just to give it a little bit more heat and some more flavor. But if you don't like spicy, that's fine. It doesn't make them very spicy, just a little bit. It just adds a little bit of flavor. So I just kind of stir that in. And this literally takes just three to four minutes. And then when you're done, you can just plate it up, serve it with a little bit more salt and pepper to taste, and that's it. This is a quick, simple sauteed kale.